Hello everybody, I'm Crazy KO and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. Now, last time we were talking to Leonardo, we got some new hidden blade skills. We're now a proper assassining assassin. And now we are headed to Oh yes, yes, we're looking for the fox dude. Locate a Lavope, somewhere near the Mercato Vecino. Vecino? Okay, cool. So it should be somewhere around here. I'm assuming he's probably gonna be up top. So let's go. It's in our green circle of doom. This is cool. Um, <laughs> old eagle fishing. Locate my gold target. Your guard. There's a poster I can move down. Is that him? <laughs> no, he's just got really white hair. Okay. Aha! There he is. All right. Go away. Can I punch you? There you go! Ta-da! What? My pouch! Oh, my money! Your money! I don't have your money! <laughs> Get back here! Make me! Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to punch you, random lady! You're um... making a big mistake, my friend! How do I tackle people? Enough of this! Enough indeed! Why don't you give up? There we go. <laughs> Figured it out. I really have no interest in her. Oh, somehow you. we're on a rooftop. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, Tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Cool. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. <laughs> Tim just looks so angry. Wow, look at that. I gained money from that. I didn't even have that much money to start with, and now I'm rich. Um, all right. Well, that was fun. Oh, never mind. We're going... I gotta go down here. Oh, he's down there. All right, excuse me. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to kick you in the head. It just sort of happened. All right, let's do this. Follow me, but we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay. Are you gonna make me run across the city, aren't you? Yes, you are. Just pretty good, considering he's an older dude. Mr. Volpe. You went up that way, didn't you? <laughs> what are you doing back there? It I won't let me run me. with you! Okay, let's do this. Where'd you go, Mr. Volpe? Ah! That's less good. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I can see how this is gonna end already. Oh no. Um, okay, let's go this way. Let's do this. Don't dare fall off of that, Ezio. Catch that. Come on, come on, you can do it. Quickly, quickly. 
run faster, little Ezio. Okay, let's do that. Running, 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 running. I think this is the right way. Yeah, here we go. And look at that. 13 seconds to spare. Here we are. You're out of shape. Francesco right. Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna. Oh, and now we have the thieves. Now we can get thieves to help us with things. Okay, there's guards there. So we gotta be slightly um, sneaky, because we're totally sneaky. All the time. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Look at us being so stealthy. Do -do. Into the sewers. Here we go. It's one thing I do remember enjoying about this game is there's all the tunnels, there's the tombs. This one really had a lot of stuff to do in it. And so did the other AC2 ones. Because, especially like in Brotherhood, there's all the Romulus stuff to do, and they just really feel like really well-rounded, complete games. Okay, so we gotta get up there. Find the location of the Templar meeting. Yes, ma'am, sir. Ooh. Oh, I'm dumb. There's a nice... <laughs> Convenient handle. It's like, ah, I gotta climb the walls, do some crazy jumps, but no. It's nothing that. Nothing that fancy yet. So wait till we get to the one with the squid. Is that in this one or is that in Brotherhood? Where there's the lurking beast. This is quite the fancy place. And I love all the detail. Like, they didn't have to put all of this detail on these coffins or all of these cool frescoes on the wall, but they did. They took a lot of time and care to make this look good. Oh, uh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh no, I'm not looking forward to this. Find a way through the collapsed stairwell. But yeah, and like, look at this. This is so cool. Just the architecture and the details and everything. It just looks so cool. No, that's the way we came. Oh, uh, well. Ow. Oh, that was not how that wanted to go. What? What was that? That crazy little spider monkey. Okay, can we get up on this railing? Or, you know, do the exact same thing over again. We are not doing good. Because, yeah, I don't think I can actually get anywhere. I'll let you guys know when I actually start doing something that uses my brain and I maybe figure this out. Or I die, because that's a very likely thing to happen. Oh, sure, then this time you're all like, Oh, I can totally do this! Thank you, Ezio. Oh! Oh! Woo! That was somewhat stressful. I did it! Okay, Ezio. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, we're going... This way, I presume. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. 
<laughs> that would have meant certain death. Wow, they're really oblivious if they didn't see that. Oh! Cool. Yeah, how did you not notice that, you sillies? What are you doing down here, by the way? How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold! What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. Cool. Yay! Oh... <laughs> this is not gonna be fun. Alright, uh, so we need to go upwards, upwards, we came through that one, what's in here? Nothing? 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 Can I just like climb this gate? That would be epic. I don't remember this at all from playing through this the first time. Which, I mean, could be considered a good thing, because then... Okay, I need to be on that one. And then this one. There we go. Okay, scoot along. Scoot. And scoot. And scoot. Ooh. Hey, do you want to die? He died. There's another one somewhere. Over there. And now he's dead. Okie dokie dokes. Oh, could you take him out from up there? That would be cool. I did it the good old fashioned way. Oh, uh, is this one of those time things, or is this gonna actually open the door? That was the other annoying thing that I do remember from tombs in these games, is times. Ooh, money. Okay. Well, let's go grab this money, because money is always good. Secret area located. What do you mean, secret area located? What do you mean, secret area located? What? Do you just mean that area up there? Okay, I need to get... So then from here we need to go either onto that pillar or up here, okay. That went well. Checkpoint reached. Doors open. The door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post. So help me God. Okay. Um. Where are you guys? You're all on the bottom? Okay. <laughs> Flawless. Ten points. Okay, so we got two there. We got third one. 
there. They all kind of do lappy laps around each other. He goes over there though, and I don't think the others do. So, if I can get ooh, over there. Get him when he comes in here, if he comes in here again, which he should. Then I should be able to. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, it looks like someone else also goes in that side. So as long as I can get the three of them when they're in these various spots. Are you not going to come in here anymore? That would be extremely rude of you. Please come back. Yeah, there you go. Here, assassinate. There, yeah, the ghost's gone. Alright, three, two. Uh, the only thing is I don't know, I don't think I can get back up here from this side. Okay, I know another one of them comes down here. Ooh. I think... You guys not seeing his body. Never mind, don't answer that. I'm fine with you not finding his body. Or doesn't one of you come over here? Can you please just stop walking circles around each other? <laughs> There's something tingling. Okay, so there's the one of you there. Okay, when do you not see each other? Okay, so I need to somehow get into the water? Maybe should have done that first. Because I don't think there's a point when I can get in there where there's The less sneaky approach, but but that dude totally didn't see anything, so he's apparently blind as well. Uh, that was mostly sneaky. I wonder if I could get him to come out if I do. Let's see. You made me waste my money. Okay, what if I grab my money and throw it there? No? Well, that went well. Okay, what if I select my throwing knives? Okay, never mind, I can't use my throwing knives in here. Okay, Saverio! I'll be back with the other guards! Up, oh, up. Oh. Yes. I think I got away. That's not good. Okay. Since when do you 
guys know how to climb like this. We didn't die. Well, this is going well. Hopefully, we can still catch him. Okay, I need to go this way. I see what's going on. Come back here, you jerk. Ezio, Ezio, what did we say about climbing walls? Leave me alone. The me, I mean? I mean, open the door. Why? Why? Which door do I need to open? That door? What are you doing, buddy? Okay, so we came from here. Yes, yes. Okay, so I am doing our way. Don't mind me, just busy doing things. What? What are you? Now can I use my- no. Of course I can't use my throwing knives. That would be convenient. Okay, well let's equip... Knife? Knife does get some fun kills. Sure, what the heck, why not? Just like I'll tell you, the knife has some more really fun things. He's dead. He's dead. I do enjoy combat in this because it's not- there's like, not an in incredible emphasis on combat. Like, it's still part of the game, but it's not like in the new ones where you have a giant skill tree. Or anything. Um, I feel like- that's why I like these older Assassin's Creed games more than I enjoyed the new ones. Just because more of this is about the story, like what's going on with Ezio's life, than being solely combat focused. For the most part. And you can just sit here and plug away at guys for hours. Um, and I feel like the heart of the story is missing in a lot of the newer games. I haven't played Valhalla yet, um, and I haven't played through I played a tiny bit of Origins, but I feel like that heart to the story is missing because it's become so focused on skill trees and leveling. Like this, I have no levels. Yes, I can increase my health. Yes, I can increase my armor and all that. Sorry, Jazz. But it's more about Ezio than anything. It's about his story, what he went through. And yeah, that's my little Assassin's Creed rant for you for today. Okay. That's what I miss. I think that's why Ezio is my favorite assassin to play. Eavesdrop, I can do that. Res benedictio dei omnipotentes, patris et fili et spiritus sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes. Armor, bows, our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. 
as long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. That's how you always tell there's a cult. They say things and you listen. Open the sarcophagus. Why can a sarcophagus? Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Cool. Surprised that Volpa knew about this, but left all of this stuff just hanging now out here. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. All right, nice payday for me. Okay. okay. Thank you for this giant stone hockey puck. Alrighty, cool. Got our money. Get to leave now. All that jazz. Look how much money we have. We will have to go to the villa and make sure that we upgrade some more stuff in town. Maybe buy us a new trinket or two. Relatively okay. I know where Francesco will be and when, but what is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but what the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service, along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of High Mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi, it will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. So do I. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure to put on me. Ooh, there's something in that boat. Hello, boat. Can Ezio swim? Uh -oh. Yes, he can. Okay. Probably should have checked that out before, you know, just jumping in the water, but it's all good. And look, he even gets wet. Can I go on this ship? Oh, I can. That's cool. I'm on a boat. This is my boat now. I have claimed it for me. You guys really shouldn't leave money on your gondolas. It's now mine. And it did say we have income at the villa so we should probably go check that out lovely money 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 is always a good thing to have in this game okay so i think what we're gonna do because i don't want to get into that today i don't think is we will 
take down this poster that says I am a horrible human being. Because me. No. Let go. Let go. There we go. Ta da! I am now back to being a good person. Okay, let's see if this dude has anything for me. Weapons. Yes. Not as good at deflecting. Mm. Don't think no, 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 I didn't mean to stop talking to you entirely. Thank you. Select. Do we have anything? Uh, that gives us another health, two more resistance. Ooh. Let's see. How much does this cost? 1100 and 6200. That would use like all of our money. So I think we'll select this one for now. Okay. Uh, back. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Back. Please come back anytime. Or not. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay. Oh, wow. That added lots of value to Montregioni as well. Select this dagger. Already owned. Ooh, I can get fancier dagger. Speed and deflect. Or speed and damage and minus one for deflect. Hmm. Hmm, I'll think about it. I will start. But either way, I think we're going to head to Monteregioni now. Do a couple more upgrades. Sorry. And then we will next episode come and do that so i need to head how do we get out of here how do we get out of here because that will be the yeah, memory start okay i need to get out of dodge which i think i can do if i go this way Tuscany to Montreal. Okay, I'm just gonna set that as my marker so that I have it and I know where I'm sort of going. Sort of. Alright, we're gonna head to the roofs just because it's way easier to eat. up here than down there. And there's a chance we can find money! Ow. Well, somehow that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let go, let go, let go. I heard it singing to me. <laughs> Lovely. And look at that, the guard didn't even know. Okay. Oh, there's a... Uh... That dude mission, but I don't want to do that. I know they carry lots of money, and I can get money, but I don't want that. Are you gonna fall off? Oh, you're gonna take me with you. Oh, that's okay. Let's loot you. Alright! Cool. That went well. Hey, look, a feather. It's gonna take me forever to get where I need to go. No, no, no. Alright, let's grab this feather, then we at least have a feather to bring back to our mother, because we love her. Do we? Okay, apparently we don't, because we just didn't want to go up there. Okay, cool. What? What? Oh, you're just telling me about bringing feathers back. Okie dokie. Can you just climb? Thank you. Wow, there's a lot of dudes at my house. Guess they figure I'm still gonna come back someday. What is that icon? Is that just the... Yeah, Assassin 2 icon. Okay. 
we will have to do that at some point too. That's what I mean. There's so much stuff to do, but it's not a huge map. Like, that was the nice thing about these games too, is there was a ton of stuff to do, but it wasn't like Origins where the map is just huge. It's a fairly small map in these ones. And it's nothing to like sniff at, but... Is that a me poster? As well, keep myself semi anonymous. Okay, or fall down alleyways. Ooh, is there something in there? I do have to go this way. Oh, there is. They probably wouldn't like it if I went and tried to steal that, though. So let's not. Oh, do you want to fix me? That would be great. Thank you, May sir. Wellness remain your companion, I don't know about that. It, it usually doesn't, so I wouldn't count on it remaining my friend. City gate! There's the city gate. I'm just taking the scenic route through the farms. You know. As every person does when trying to leave the city. Uh, horsey! Horsey! Horse! Or, or, there. Alright. Let's go! It's good to- I know it's a pain to leave the city and come back, but it's a good thing to upgrade your city because you will want the money later. It may seem like a pain early on, but it will definitely be rewarding. Well. Okay. okay, easy. Because the more you upgrade, the more income you get. And the more income you get, the more stuff you can buy. And various cycle of getting money. So let us grab our money. So Claudia doesn't steal it. Then we'll just talk to our dude. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Yes. What do we want to upgrade? Art merchant? Ah, uh, yeah, we could do that. What the heck? Why not? Art merchant. Bank. Uh, yep. Let's do that. Oh, we wanted to do the church, so we could go get- there's money there. Alright, and that doesn't leave us with a lot. Can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. The other cheap ones, I think the rest of these are all- yeah, fairly- Hi! What do you want? You wanna come play Assassin's Creed? Okay. Can play Assassin's Creed. So yeah, I think that's all we can do. Yes, for now. But there we go. Bon now viaggio. our income. Wow, we just increased the value by eleven thousand dollars. That's pretty good. Hey Claudia, Claudia. how much do we you make? Have to look at the book. Nice. So we make now two thousand one hundred and six florins every twenty minutes. 14% complete, so that's not bad. We went up by quite a bit. Cool. Thank you, Claudia. A presto, Ezio. I'm glad you've taken up accounting. Alrighty. So now we can go to the bank and get money. Or not the bank, the um, church. Do. So our church, yeah. See, look, now it's got a door. It's open. We can go inside. Keep the church. We can go. Um, up. No. No. I just 
gotta figure out. There we go. <laughs> How to do a back jump, and then we can steal the money that's been living in the room of the church that taunts me every single time I run by. Alright, and while we're here, because I think we will save the whatever mission happens at the Duomo for next time, I think we will go and do the Assassin's Tombs here. Get that? Ah, I'm so sorry. Because there just happens to be an assassin tomb right here in Monte Regione. That's Frodo. He's lurking. Oh, hello. Money! <laughs> Look at that, I have enough money to maybe do upgrade something, but we won't do that now. We're busy breaking into tombs. Isn't that who? Me? Yeah, it's me. It's always been me. Alrighty. So, here we go. Monte Regione tomb. <laughs> Is this the one with the stupid beastie in it? I can't remember what this one is. This may take me forever. In which case, this will be a long episode. Alright, Auditory Family Grit. Was raised in a small house by the Venetian Lagoon, within sight of the rough, foam capped waves of the sea. When I was barely old enough to walk, I became a sailor, navigating the Atlantic first as an apprentice and then while carrying cargo for my father's patron, Messer Marco Polo. It was a good life. Cool. Mr. Messer Marco Polo. I'm assuming it's not as easy as, yeah, just opening the gate. That's fine. While running in a wall, use that and that to jump in the chosen direction. Okay. Well, that semi worked, but do. Okay. Because, yeah, we're trying to get there. Okay. So. Okay. Nope. Oh, and it's the stupid music. This music is the bane of my existence. See, I back jumped. But it doesn't like me. Um, I'm stuck here for the next forever. Advanced walls of running use. Yeah. Okay, I need to figure out what key that is. I think that's this one. Nope. Okay, it's space then. No. Nope. What key is that? Options, controls, customize controls. Not a spacebar. Okay. So, well, running from this wall to this wall. Well, on the wall. Hmm. Okay, that sort of worked. But I'm not getting enough air this time. Okay, so we need to go. Ah! I did it! <laughs> and it didn't take me forever. It just took me a little while. It's a good thing Conscience isn't here. She'd be laughing at me. One day, while ashore in the harbor, looking for work, I fell in love. She was barely twenty, but when I looked into her eyes, the whole world was reflected back. 
clearer and brighter than the sun. After that, I still went to sea, but my heart remained on land with the girl who became my wife and our young son. Poetic. Oh. One afternoon that summer, Messer Polo called me into his study. My father was already there, beside an older man dressed in a strange hooded cape, watching us. At that moment, everything in my life changed. My father told me that he was an assassin. Removing his ring, he showed me a strange marking on his finger, explaining that our family came from an ancient order that protected and defended mankind. He paused, and then, when I didn't speak, Messer Polo stepped forward. He told me that the stranger in the hood would teach me, and in return, I would carry him across the Mediterranean to Spain. And so began my apprenticeship with Dante Alighieri, one that was to destroy every bit of happiness I would ever have. Yeah, that's the only bad part about becoming an assassin. Is it sort of ruins lives sometimes. Oh, is this timed? I bet it is. Okay, okay, Ezio, Ezio, Ezio. We only got so much time. We gotta go, Ezio. Go, Ezio. Why is my camera locked, Ezio? Why? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Ooh. Wow, we did it. Okay, use this. And then the gate will be open. Don't have to worry about messing up. Oh, this is the one with the water and the creature, isn't it? In preparation for our voyage, Mr. Alighieri met me with repeat met with me repeatedly. At first our meetings were about purchasing supplies, but soon they became about higher things, about love, life, honor, and justice. He taught me that society was set up in such a way as to control its members, to stop us from thinking, from seeing. Soon, I could look past all the laws and illusions. I understood that mankind was being used by its rulers, that we the people deserved freedom. It was then that Dante began showing me pages from a book that Messer Polo had brought back from the palace of the great Genghis Khan. The manuscript, the Codex, was about our order, the assassins. Okay. So I gotta get through there. Can I just swim? Swim, little Ezio! Ooh, that nearly took our feet off. I'm actually somewhat surprised it didn't take our feet off. Yes, that's that's what I want you to do, Etsy. We're going swimming. Can you just, you know? Behave like a normal person for once in your life? Okay, what's this one doing? Oh, no. No. oh this is gonna take me 6,000 years. Okay. Nope. Especially if you do that, Etsu. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, I hate it when it locks the camera. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is hopelessness. Hopelessness, hopelessness. I'm already losing. So, <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? But anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll figure this out next time. And we'll see you then. Goodbye.